Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm going to be teaching you how you can add depth to your text in Photoshop. Now it's pretty simple and it just involves stuff like putting your text behind bits of your image and putting in front bits of your image to create a really nice kind of depth. And then I'm going to be teaching you how to add shadows to your text as well to create an even better, more realistic look. But without wasting your time too much, let's jump straight into Photoshop. So we're in Photoshop now. The first thing we're going to do is going to go over to our text and press this in here and type in YouTube because why not? Uh, and then we're going to grab our little move tool and we're going to place the YouTube text in the right place. So you find out where you want to have it. I'm just going to have it around here. All right, so I've got my text where I want it now. So now I'm going to grab the opacity and drop this down to about 15% or something around there. And that'll be good. And then we're going to add our layer mask on here. I'm going to come over to the brush tool uh, and then we're just going to zoom in on our text and go over to our first letter. Now what we want to be doing is we want to be looking out for the leaves that appear higher than the rest of the leaves. So you can see in this case with the Y, the leaf right here is higher than this leaf, this leaf, any of the leaves around here that are touching this. So this leaf is the highest, so we want to make sure the text is underneath that so it creates more of a realistic effect. And we'll just remove the Y here. Now moving on to the O, you can see this bit of the leaf here is higher than this leaf and this leaf. So again, we'll just mask this out. And then again with the U, this bit, this leaf is obviously attached to the O. So we're also going to take this away. That's that removed. The T is a little bit on the corner here, we'll just take that away. And the U is a little bit here, overlapping. And you can see here I went a tiny bit over the edge. I'll just exaggerate it for an example. So then we're just going to go back to our white on the top. And then we can just paint this back in like it's brand new again. And have another shot at it. So that's the U part done. Come along to our B and there's a little bit on the edge here. Let's take that away. Maybe too much, so I'll take it back and I'll do it again. Okay, and then come over to our E. And then finally, I think as the leaf curves down into the, goes lower, I'll just mask out the top bit of the E here. Okay, so I've masked everything out and I'm happy with that. So we're just gonna zoom out for a sec. Uh, now the first thing we're gonna do is gonna bring our opacity back up to 100%. Now you can see it doesn't really fit, it doesn't look right still. And that's because we haven't added our shadow yet. So we're gonna add a new layer, right click, and then click create clipping mask. And then we're gonna grab our brush tool again, making sure black's on the top. Zoom in a little bit. And now we're just gonna paint in every area where the text is underneath the leaves. So for example, on the Y here, around there, around here on the O, and on the T over here. And this is where we're gonna be creating our shadows. So, and over here and here. So I think that's everywhere, mask, oh no, this bit here. And that is everything masked now. So every black bit is where our shadow is going to be and where the leaves are on top of the letters. And now we're just going to click filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And it's at 21.9, we'll click OK. And you can now see that, that has blurred the shadows. And it's now created a really realistic effect where the, the leaves are casting the shadows on the text. I think it looks really good and turned out really well. So that is everything in Photoshop. I think it looks really realistic now. Obviously, you're going to have to change it the way that your image is and change the text and what you mask out and how your shadows are. But I think this looks really good for now. So we're done in Photoshop. So that is it for today's video. Make sure to send me a message if there was anything you didn't understand or you just want me to clarify something. And also make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you never miss videos like this in the future hopefully you now understand how to add depth to your text in photoshop and it to be honest it's fairly easy just remember that if there's anything high so in my case the leaves were high so then you have to mask the text underneath the leaves and you're all good to go then just make sure to add shadows and i think it looks really nice but anyway hopefully you enjoyed today's video and i'll catch you in the next one peace